What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to make API calls with Axios. API stands for Application Program Interface. It's basically a URL that you can put together in a certain way to query for certain data from a given application or website. For example, Spotify could have a public API which lets you get access to artists and albums and they'd have documentation on how to make a URL that Spotify's server can understand and you can correctly retrieve the data that you want. Using Axios and making API calls doesn't have to be for third-party APIs either. You can use Axios to make calls to your own backend in your own application. So I have a button here that will fetch a quote from an API and display that quote. Only right now it will not fetch that quote. So we'll use Axios to do that. We'll have to install Axios. So in the command line here, we'll do npm install Axios dash dash save to put it in our package.json. Clear that. Then we can import Axios from Axios. So this is that button that says get quote. So we'll say uh, on click of a function called get quote. We'll have to make that function. And we'll type Axios. That'll be a get request. You could do get or post. And then we'll pass in the URL as a string. I'm using this random quote API, and that's the URL for that. And then you can do a dot then, which will return a promise once this API call gives back a successful response and then we'll get access to that response that we can use in a callback function. I'm actually going to put this on another line so it's easier to read, but that's that dot then is chained onto this axios.get. So I'll just go down here just so it's easier. And this is the response we'll get access to. A lot of times you'll see res for response. And that's if we get a successful response from this API call. There will also be a dot catch where we'll get access to an error, or sometimes you'll see ERR for error. And then we'll get access to the error as well. So for now, in the successful response, the dot then we'll do a console.log and we'll put the response. And in the dot catch, when we get the error, we will console.log error. So if we save that, open up our console here with option command J on Mac. I'll hit get quote. And then this is our response, which is an object. And one of the properties in that object is data, which is where we'll get access to the data that we're trying to get back from the API. You'll see we have the author of the quote, and then the content will be the quote itself. So if we bring this over, do not go where the path may lead, go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. It's deep. Make sure you like and subscribe. <laughs> So that's the response. So this is an object and then there's the data, which is also an object and then there's content. So we'll do response.data.content. Save that. We'll console.log that. And now we get just the quote. Our passion is our strength. It's deep. So I'll get rid of this. And now we'll display that quote. 
So I'll use some the use state hook for this. Import use state from React. Call it quote and set quote. Use state, and the initial state will be an empty string. I also have a video on how to use use state. I'll go ahead and flash a card on the screen so that you can watch that if needed. So then down in our response here, I'll do a set quote, and we'll set that to response.data.content. And then down here in the rendered part of our component, I'll put a paragraph tag, and I'll put the quote. And then actually we should check that there is a quote. Oh, let's put this all in brackets here. So we'll say if there is a quote, we'll display that. And if not, null, we won't display anything. And then actually, even a quicker, smaller way of doing the same thing is if we do the quote and that, that way. It checks for a quote. If there is a quote, it'll return the quote in paragraph tags. So, save that. Hit this again. Once you choose hope, anything's possible. Pretty much the most inspirational thing I've ever heard in my entire life. So just make sure you like and subscribe. <laughs> That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Check it.